I'm happy to see so many familiar faces here today. I've lost count of the days, weeks, months since we've all been together. Okay. Um, in these uncertain times, if your mind is playing tricks on you, pushing you down a dark path, know you are not alone. I never used to talk about my own anxiety. I, I put up a shield to protect myself. But uh, the shutdown shook me made me question everything, put things into perspective. I miss theater so much, what it does for my soul, my well-being. And I, I know you miss it too. The audience, they miss it. Now more than ever, people need the arts. They need to be taken on a journey. And even though we don't have any real answers as to when it'll be safe to go back, we know we will. And we want to be prepared for that moment when it happens. You've all taken the initiative by showing up here today. So, thank you. Does anyone want to start us off? I haven't written in months. I want to. My body won't let me. It just feels like I'm floating in space, waiting to be rescued. Waiting for the words to write themselves. To be clear, this isn't normal writer's block. After the year we've had, I have a lot to say, trust me. It's like, there are so many stories I wanna share, but I'm overwhelmed with all the possibilities, the politics and perpetual pestering time. That's good. Write that down. I'm aware of the irony that I have nothing but time and now the words won't come. It, it, it used to be my choice to create in solitude, but now that it's mandated, all of a sudden I've lost that You know that feeling? That searing pang in your gut? Like your art is a drug and the only way to satiate that craving is to just give in. It's terrifying to think I've lost that blessed unrest where inspiration takes root. I long for that rush. <laughs> that rush of revelation. Instead, I'm kept up at night with nothing but the fear and guilt of not being able to write. It's pining for my muses. I uh, don't know much about muses, but I can't sleep either. I was about to start a new show, landed my first lead. I was learning new skills, training, doing whatever it took to better myself and loving it. Now I struggle with the motivation just to get off the couch. I'm victim to the voices in my head. Who am I without a show? 
This is all I know. I can't just find something new. I've done nothing else since I was 10 years old. Growing up, Dad had me playing football. But everything changed when Nana took me to see my first show. Flying monkeys will do that to a kid. You know, and despite the skepticism, I chose to fling myself into it, sacrificing so much for my dream. Then the world stopped. They were told we're non-essential, not worth saving. Yeah, dramatic, I know, but it feels like my whole identity is in question. Who am I if no one gives a shit about us? You know, I just want to perform. I want to be on stage. I don't want the voices in my head to win. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's, um, let's try this another way. You know, what you're yearning for, what we're all yearning for, is an outlet, an ear to hear the months of screams we've been silencing. I know a thing or two about screams. My child has been having night terrors. There's nothing more visceral than waking up in the middle of the night to your child's screams. Try holding him and soothing him, but he just wails and trembles because he doesn't realize he's just in a bad dream. That's what we're on right now, a living nightmare. But we will wake up, we have to. You know, the great Susan Laurie Parks once said, each moment is perfect and heaven sent, because each moment holds the seeds for growth. This pain can be useful. This hibernation can just fuel our passions and desires. Not everyone possesses those gifts, dance, music, poetry. And I have no doubt that our community will come back stronger, better than ever, with more stories to tell. Because if art is done right, it's a reflection in a time capsule of the world we live in today. What's it matter? Not everyone's gonna care about what you make. That doesn't mean it's not worth making. That's the beauty of art. <laughs> okay, wow. That's also how some of us survive. I'm not like the rest of you bitches with your shows, theaters, unions. What about nightlife artists, huh? We don't have that luxury. I need to perform, otherwise I can't pay my bills. I don't have a 401k to dip into. What? <sighs> Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm not coming for you. It's more than just the money. But we've all lost our safe space. I mean, we're trying to make it work and adapt, but it's just not the same over Zoom, you know? There's no energy to work with or to play off of. <laughs> the heckler in the back. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Not to mention <laughs> the watered down overpriced drinks, okay? <laughs> Which I don't pay for, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I miss it like crazy. I miss my baby. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not a real baby, no. <laughs> I mean, Lady Loren is like my baby. My creation. Birthed from me because of me. She's my armor. When I'm her, I'm limitless. Some days, I find myself putting on makeup on just to see my baby again. I wanted a baby. I still do. still do. <laughs> 
no matter how many shows I have under my belt, just six more months, I tell myself, then you can start a new chapter. <laughs> I get anxious with every birthday, every new gray hair, every wrinkle. <laughs> I'm just being betrayed by my body, and this pandemic has just stolen so much of the time I thought I had left. I mean, let's be real, I, I can't dance forever. <laughs> I don't mean to bring it down, you know. I mean, I get it. What do you do for love, right? I mean, it's the truth. Dancing makes me feel alive. I mean, it stops the brain chatter. I feel awake in the moment. I feel present. It's hard to give up something that valuable. But you know what the best part is? <laughs> when you were a kid and you went to the shows, was there ever a time when you were totally enamored by an ensemble member? Not the lead, not the supporting characters, but that, that dancer just made you want to be a part of that secret society. That's the inspiration I want to repay. And that's why I want to become a mother. To connect and to encourage, to educate. That's what I hope for. That's it. This is where we're at. Madison. I'm sorry. I was tired. Weren't you all tired? Yeah, I love performing. I love being on stage, I guess. But eight shows a week, I was running myself into the ground. I'm not a machine. When do we ever get this time off? When do we ever get this pressure taken off? We don't, because there's, there's always somebody better than us in front of us, or right behind us, right at our heels. So we just never relax. And we don't stop, why? Because, because we love it? I don't know. Sorry, I just feel like we're sitting here glorifying a business that's taken so much from us. Good, so much from us. I've missed so many birthdays and, and weddings and, and funerals and time with my family that I'm never gonna get back. For what, why? Because my name is on the marquee? Because, because I'm gonna get a gold fucking star? And, and now look at us, look. None of it fucking mattered. I lost my mom to this virus. They wouldn't even let me go in with her. I just wanted to say thank you, you know? I just wanted to say thank you one more time. <laughs> but I didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> Madison. I'm deeply saddened for your loss. The people you share your artistry with 
Hold on to those moments, frozen in time. Like your mother, who would always be there on opening night. We've all heard you sing, Madison. Your voice is pure joy. You're a light. Whatever you need, we're here for you. We might be a little rough around the edges, but our family is strong. We do matters. Art matters. Art gives life meaning. It gives people hope. I don't know if everything will be okay. No one has all the answers, but I do have faith that we can help steer this world in a positive direction and find light among the darkness. <laughs>